Hello again, it's time for the March Real Integrity Real Estate Market Update for Sunnyside, Woodside, and one random neighborhood. Let's discuss. Hi, I'm Robert Swiderski of Real Integrity Real Estate with Integrity, and I'm gonna be discussing again, Sunnyside, Woodside, and one random neighborhood. There it is, nope, you gotta wait to the end to see if it's your neighborhood I selected. All right, right off the bat, what are interest rates doing? So a 30-year fixed, we are floating around 4.125%, and for a 15-year fixed, we are floating around 3.5%. These are great rates. They are still very low. So buyers, if you've been holding off, now might be the time to pull the trigger. Get yourself a pre-approval letter and start putting your offers out there. All right, with that said, what's going on in the market? Sunnyside, condos and co-ops. Last month, the absorption rate was two months. That means, on average, it's taking two months for a co-op or condo to go to contract from when it's first put on the market. That is a seller's market. Anything below six months, seller's market. Uh, last month, there were two new listings that came to the market for a total of six listings for buyers to choose from with one closing. So tight inventory in Sunnyside, and that is definitely driving uh, the pricing. Uh, Sunnyside, uh, one to three family homes. Uh, absorption rate, zero months. Zero months, so if a home is priced right and it's on the market in Sunnyside, it's usually getting an accepted offer in under 30 days. So buyers, you need to keep this in mind. Get your pre-approval letter ready to go. Be prepared to, uh, to put in a, a very competitive offer. Uh, last month, there was only one new home that came to the market uh, for a total of six homes for buyers to choose from with two closings. So very much a seller's market in Sunnyside. What's driving the market? It's simply supply and demand in Sunnyside. There's not a lot of inventory and there is a lot of interest in the area. Okay, Woodside, uh, co-ops and condos. The absorption rate for Woodside last month was 4.4 months. So still a seller's market. There was a total of seven new listings that came to the market for a total of 22 listings for buyers to choose from with seven closings. Okay, the Woodside uh, one to three family homes. Uh, the absorption time was 8.5 months. So that's still a buyer's market, but just a month ago, it was uh, 22.5 months, almost two years. So that went from almost two years to 8.5 months. Woodside homes is starting to head toward a seller's market, not quite there yet, but that's the direction it's heading in. Makes sense. People are not able to find anything in Sunnyside. Woodside is the next neighborhood over. Um, okay, with that said, last month there were 13 new listings to come to market for a total of 51 homes uh, for buyers to choose from with five closings. Okay, the uh, random neighborhood that I chose for this month, Jackson Heights. All right, Jackson Heights, how are we doing? So last month, uh, co-ops and condos, the absorption rate was 5.2 months. So that is still a, uh, a, a seller's market, but it's heading toward a buyer's market. So Jackson Heights, we need to keep uh, an eye on that. Uh, last month, co-ops and condos, there was a total of 26 new listings uh, that hit the market for a total of 83 co-ops or condos for buyers to choose from. And there were 13 closings. Uh, Jackson Heights, private homes, one to three family homes. Uh, the absorption rate last month was 14 months. Again, that means you're on the market, it's taking on average 14 months to go to contract. So we need to keep that in mind. That is very much a buyer's market for homes in Jackson Heights. Uh, last month, there were eight new homes that hit the market for a total of 28 homes for buyers to choose from with eight closings. Think of me as your personal real estate professional. All of our contact info is at the end of every video. If you need help pricing out your home or if you're a buyer and you wanna work with myself or one of my agents uh, in all areas of Queens, by the way, and I actually have agents that also do uh, Nassau and Brooklyn. Uh, again, all of our contact information is at the end of every video. Again, thank you for watching and until next time, be well.